So this is my Dyson Gen 5 Detect. And the question is, is it better? Is it worth more than getting a Dyson V15, a Dyson V12, a Dyson V11, or a Dyson V10? Because all of those are going to be less expensive than this. And it is a upgrade over the Dyson V15, the V12, the V11, the V10, all of them, because we've been testing them against it. But is it going to be worth the premium value that Dyson is attaching to it? Because it comes with more features, but are those features really better than what was pre-existing. I'm going to go to 10 different categories and we're going to explain why the Dyson Gen 5 Detect is so similar to the previous Dysons that I could actually recommend getting another Dyson and you might not even experience any performance difference. So let's start with weight. If you're looking at the Dyson 5 Detect, up until this point, Dyson has continuously tried to get lighter. So they've always tried to get lighter and lighter. It really hit the pinnacle on this guy, which is going to be on the Dyson V12 Slim Detect. Because here, it only weighs about 5.2 pounds, one of the lightest cordless stick vacuums we've ever tried. And is extremely powerful, especially considering its weight. The Dyson Gen 5 Detect weighs 7.65 pounds, which is relative to the 6.65 pounds on the Dyson V11 and the 6.8 pounds you would find on the Dyson V15 Detect. So it is considerably heavier when you have it inside of your hand and you're using it. And you'll feel that weight because they had to improve the motor. The biggest difference really comes down to they have made the overall unit and the motor larger, so it's going to be more powerful. But there is a drawback there because it makes the overall unit heavier, making it more difficult to handle. The Dyson Gen 5 is coming with 262 air watts, which is relative to the 230 air watts you'll find on the Dyson V15, which is again relative to the 150 air watts you get on the Dyson uh, V12 Slim. But does that mean it's going to be a huge boost or change in terms of overall performance? No, not necessarily. Why? Because even though this is coming with much more suction power, that suction power is really focused when it's on boost mode. And to be honest, you're probably not going to be on boost mode that much. It's not great for your battery. It eats up the battery life at 8x regular speed. So if you have this on auto, you're going to get way better battery life than if you keep it on boost. What's really interesting about the Gen 5 is that even though it's coming with the 262 air watts, it is this hyperdinium motor is still producing 125,000 RPM. So how fast the motor spins utilizing its 14 cyclones, which is identical to the Gen, uh, the V15, the V11, as well as the V10. The V12 is coming with 11 cyclones. So it's coming with three less, but this is also making 125,000 RPM. Let's talk about the menu display. It has a menu display that's going to accurately count the different size particles that it's picking up. But I want to ask you guys, in your whole life of vacuuming, did you ever, ever wonder, well, I wonder how many particles are uh, 10 microns, 90 microns, 180 microns, or 500 microns. Actually, I never wonder that. The only thing I ever cared about is that, is it a good, doing a good job picking up everything off my floor? And the Gen 5 Detect does do a good job doing that. But this information is pretty similar to what I already get on the V12 and the V15. The difference comes down to, on the Gen V12 and the Gen 15, the bars go up and down on your Gen 5, the bars go left and right. But next up, we're going to talk about the body here. So if you're looking at this body, you're going to notice that it is similar to all the other Dysons in the sense that it has a familiar design. It also comes with the ability to remove the HEPA filter. Dyson did change the position of the power button. So here on the Dyson of Gen 5, it is the first one to have the power button on board on the back menu. But even though that is a improvement, well, how do I press that? I have a really large hand and this has a comfortable grip, but if I want to toggle and I want to do one handed toggle because I'm holding something with my other hand, let's say I'm picking something up off the floor and I want to turn it back on, it's really difficult. I have to kind of maneuver my hand to hold it, especially at this heavier weight, to press the power button, something that other people might not want to deal with. The most crazy part about it is that up until the Dyson V15, Dyson was telling us the trigger is the better weight. The trigger is going to save you battery because if you hold the trigger down and you have to hold the trigger down the entire time you're using it, you're more likely to save conserve battery because you're not just leaving it on wasting battery. 
But to be honest, how many of us are ever really running out of the battery life if you're starting it from 100%? It also comes with the ability to remove the HEPA filter, and this HEPA filter is geared now at this size, and you can see the size here. It is geared now to remove 99.99% of particles up to a 0.1 micron size, including viruses, according to Dyson. Now, as someone who regularly reviews air purifiers, I can just give you my take on this. So even though this is going to be more powerful and the filters are going to be more absorbent for smaller particles because it's a HEPA filter, it doesn't necessarily translate to overall better performance. The limitation here is that as even if you get to just the V12 or the V11s or the V15s, they also come with their own filters. And these guys are going to be coming with a filter that's similar size. And not only are they a similar size, it also pretty much is extremely close. So this is saying 99.99% up to a 0.1 micron size. But on the pre-existing filters, you had a 99.99% up to a 0.3 micron size. So this is gonna be better for those extra fine particles, but at this size, it's not gonna make a huge difference because those small particles could be everywhere instead of just in that one general vicinity around your vacuum. So keep that in mind if you're going off the filter uh, the filtration rate on the HEPA filters, pretty similar between the two. Talk about some of the innovative features that Dyson has brought in. The Dyson Gen 5 Detect is the first Dyson that's going to have this. So I can remove the wand and then I have the crevice tool as well as the brush attached directly inside of the wand. I don't need to store this anywhere, it's just part of your device. But if you're holding this overall in your hand, you'll find that this is substantially heavier than any dust buster you've ever tried. Um, so it's a, it's a wash in my opinion. This is convenient, it's extremely convenient, but then you also have to figure out where to place your wand, which is most likely gonna be on the floor. All three now come with the fluffy detect tool, as you see here. All three are gonna be coming with the hair vein removal um, motor head here that are all coming with that 9.6 inch cleaning path. So pretty identical there. Next up is going to be on the bin capacity. The bin capacity here is the standard dicing bin capacity at 0.2 gallons. On your slim, you're getting a 0.1 gallon and on your outsizes, you'll be getting a 0.5 gallon. Knock on the Gen 5 is that I wish, and even though this is a pre-existing feature on all of the Dysons, I, I do hope one day Dyson's gonna update their tank emptying design. So if you are using this with a lot of hair, the hair can get trapped up top. And even though you're gonna be closing and opening it, and it's supposed to uh, clean out the filters with the small microns here, you have to make repeated passes. So you have to keep redoing it. It's not just as easy as just popping it out because it always wants to clean the filter. And this battery is the improved battery for the Gen 5. It's gonna be larger and it's coming with the increased capacity up to 2500 mAh or milliamp hour hours. You'll be inserting it just like you would do any Dyson. And if you get a separate battery, that's gonna increase your overall runtime up to about roughly 140 minutes if you have this on the lowest setting. Just like on the previous units, the V12, the V15, the V11s, they all still got about one hour of battery life. So you're getting a 10 minute improvement here. But what about when you have it on boost mode or you have it on auto mode? We've been using ours and after testing it repeatedly, we found that the battery life is actually just marginally better than on any of the other Dysons you can find. Let's look at the overall price. So when you're looking at price, let's talk about it. If you're looking at the Gen 5, you're wondering how much does it cost? In the most base model, at the time of this video, this costs about $950, which is substantially more, $200 more than the Gen 15 Detect. And it's gonna be about $300 to $400 more than the Gen uh, 12 Detect Slim. So a very interesting choice Dyson made is to make their Gen 5 Detect not backwards compatible. That means unlike the Dyson V12, the V15, which could share power cords, this has its own new, brand new power cord. So it's the only one to have that. So if you want addition, additional power cords, you gotta buy that separately. Another thing, you have to get another battery because the battery is larger. Here is its carbon fiber fluffy optic detect brush. This is pretty much identical in every way to the carbon fiber detect brush that you find on the V12 and the V15s. But even though they are 
overall identical in almost every way. If you took a Dyson V15, if you took a V12, you took a V11, and you tried to put any of those attachments and insert it inside of your Gen 5, none of them fit. No backward compatibility here, that drives me crazy. Now it's time to show you the results of our vacuum test. Now we have a multiple tests lined up. We have Rice Krispies, oatmeal combination, all on hardwood. And then we're gonna go to carpet test with the same material. And then we're gonna do handheld tests. But this first is gonna be Rice Krispies. So on hard floors, Rice Krispies are really easy work for this soft brush hole. Check it out. For anyone skeptical if the Detect Light works, yes, it definitely works. It does help you see more on your floor than just even bright LED light bulbs. And this is going to be our oatmeal test. You can see we put a lot of oatmeal on the floor and our soft brush roll is going to make quick work out of this as well. But I just want to give you a quick taste of how the LED display works. You can see all the numbers changing as it picks up different particles. And oatmeal has a lot of different particles from dust to the largest X uh, over 500 size. Next up is our special. This is a combination test. This is everything that we vacuumed in two weeks out of my Bissell Clean View. And we place it all on the floor. There's human hair, cat hair, there's extra oatmeal, there's different types of particles. So you're really gonna see this counter go up all the way. But in this case, we're gonna put it on boost because it takes a lot of effort to pick up all of that fine hair. And we wanna show you how well it works in one single pass. So this soft brush roll is magic, especially on hardwood floors, to pick up almost anything off your floor when in combination with that extra powerful 262 air watt motor. But you can make sure that the battery stays because just note that if you have it on boost mode, your battery will drain pretty quickly. You're looking somewhere between seven to nine to 10 minutes of overall battery life on boost mode. A quick touch test on our floor shows that the floor is completely clean. There's no dust and no debris left. Now we're gonna try the same test on rug carpet. This is gonna be the same material of hair, human hair, and we're gonna be using the digital motor bar with the 56 detangle veins because all that hair might tangle up your head. So let's see and let's see the results. It does quick work of whatever is on our floor in one single pass and I wanna show you the menu because you can really see how much of this material it is picking up. And because it is so much, I'm going pretty slowly. But the beauty is even in one single pass, it picked up, I would give it about 97% of everything on this carpet rug. You can also see the counter there. It's gonna give you a particle count. Now we're gonna go through the rest of the floor and just show you how easily it works. Now let's move on to the next test, which is gonna be the Gen 5 Detect versus the V12 Slim Detect. Now, before you jump out at me and say, why am I not comparing this to the V15? Well, it's because the V12 has a lot less power, but I also wanted to show you that the results are pretty much comparable, if not nearly identical.
And this is our test of the Gen 5 on the floor, as well as we're going to try it on the stairs and furniture. And after all these tests, and we did about two weeks of testing, I have a lot of ideas and thoughts on how you can best pick the best Dyson for you, especially based on your home, your budget, and your needs. So let's get to it right now. So which one should you choose and how do you pick which one is going to be best for you? If you want the latest and the greatest, you're okay with the heavier weight, you want the best overall suction power, Dyson Gen 5 Detect is going to be that wow. guy. You know, it has some clever features here that is missing from some of the other units. But overall, pretty similar. In our testing, the Gen 5 Detect works just as well as the Gen 15. And it works just as well as the Gen V12. We didn't see the Gen 5 Detect being necessarily a huge improvement over them. In any case, it was so marginal that the performance difference is going to be a trade-off. Because do you want lighter weight? Do you, are you okay with the heavier weight? Do you need the larger dustbin? Because then the Gen 15 might be the better bet for you. Are you okay paying a higher price for the latest and the greatest, even though the brush rolls are pretty much the same across all three? This is a Dyson product, so Dyson is Dyson, so you know exactly what you're getting. And it's easy to empty, easy to clean, and easy to store. Anyone that comes to your house is going to understand how to use it. So there's no problems with people identifying and correctly utilizing their Gen 5 Detect, especially because it has some quirky features. So in my opinion, the Gen V12 Slim Detect is the one to beat. Because of the lightweight, this is so light and so easy to use that my child, my two-year-old child can use this Dyson. It comes with the same fluffy head with the carbon fiber material as the Dyson uh, Gen 5 Detect. Unless you're picking up huge, huge clogs. I'm talking about things that are heavily ingrained in three, three inch high pill carpet you won't even notice a difference. You can get a whole collection of cleaning tools for the price of one Gen 5, and that's where the cost benefit arises. Can you dedicate more space in your house to your cleaning tools? Do you wanna just have all in one, just one system to rule them all? Well, the Gen 5 Detect could be that system. However, I find, in my personal preference, the Gen V12 Slim Detect is the one to get, plus you can always add on an upright vacuum, and a dust buster for the same price as this Gen 5. So with that, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment box and please hit that like or subscribe button. It really does help support our channel. We'll catch you next time. This is David with the French Glow signing off. Bye, bye, bye.